mama eh Your provider, 
realização na proveira. Aleluia. Aleluia. have said that Jesus is our healer and then we just lift up him this morning how about if you acknowledge that he's your healer you have said it in words of praise you have said it in words of adoration you have said he your name is victory and the only person that gives you that name is you are able to profess that because of Jesus how about you just go ahead and just praise God this morning worship him in your own words and just tell him Lord we want to lift up your name this day Lord we just want to glorify your name this morning because you are a healer. You've given us a name. Just lift up God in your own words. Speak to him. Speak to him. I don't want to give you words to tell God. I don't want to give you words to ascribe greatness to him. You can call him your sweetheart. You can call him your daddy. You can call him your, your lover. You can call him anything you want to call him. Any sweet name that you want to call Jesus. Just worship him this morning.
masters we hold, we lay him all down. ourselves except if it is God who has taken us to that place and with humility our souls will sing to praise the Lord in humility of heart we lift up our voices to God because every crown every achievement of life we think that we have made is none without Christ and we will just sing with our souls to Jesus this morning our souls will sing to you oh God
tell him, God, I am grateful. I am grateful for the cross. I am grateful that you came and you died for me. Somebody just lift up your voice right now and tell him, my father, my father, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Someone just love on God right now. Love on God right now. Just go ahead and thank him. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for his love. Thank him for his goodness. There are situations in this life that God has gotten you through. I just want you to think back. Think back to that time when you thought that you couldn't go through. Think back to that time when you thought that all hope was lost. Just go ahead and talk to God right now and tell him, God, I want to thank you. You did not let me go even when I thought that the world had let me go. You did not give up on me. You have not yet given up on me. You have been on my side day after day. Even when I fall short of your glory, you still love me. Someone just, just raise your voice right now. Raise your voice and say, God, I want to thank you. Thank you that you have not let me down. Thank you that you have not left me. My brothers have left me. My sisters have left me. My friends have spoken ill about me. But you are my strong will. You are my tower. You are my tower, my God. And I want to say thank you. Somebody just go ahead and thank God. Thank God right now and tell him, God, I want to thank you. Thank you for being by my side. Thank you for fighting my battles. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for being there for me, my God. Thank you for making a way where there seems to be no way. Just go ahead and thank God right now. And right about now, I just want you to hold your neighbor's hand for me. I just want you to hold your neighbor's hand for me. And we're going to believe God together. Ask your neighbor, ask him, is there anything that has been troubling you that feels like it is not working out? Is there any mountain so big that you feel like it has been stayed for a long time? We are going to believe God together. Ask your brother, go ahead and ask him. And ask him, what can I pray for you? What can I pray for you? And just go ahead and hold their hand and pray for them. And say, God, I believe you for my sister here today. Lord, I believe you for my sister today. And I pray, my God, that whatever seems to be the trouble, that you will take it away. I pray that you shall wipe the tears of her eyes. I pray for joy like no other. I pray that you shall move on from one step to another in Jesus' name. I pray that she shall move from glory to glory in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that you shall cause your face to shine upon her. I pray that you shall bless her beyond measure. I pray, Lord, that you shall establish her. I pray, Lord, that you shall move in her life like never before. I pray that you shall answer every single prayer that she has. I pray, Lord, that you shall make her way there seems to be no way. I pray for testimonies in her life. I pray that she will say that one day when I came to ISIS and I prayed for this, it came to pass. In Jesus' mighty name. Uh, just go ahead and put those hands together for our Jesus. Come on, we can do better than that. Go ahead and put those hands together for Jesus. They should smile to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise Jesus. Praise our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, we are more than excited to be in the house of the Lord. Is there anyone excited to be in the house of the Lord? That is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You are most welcome to Ishaka Community Church where we connect people to their destiny. And in the same spirit, we love people, we love God, and we serve. Yes, that is us. That is ICC. You are most welcome. Now, uh, today, today is a very special day. But even before we get to that, yeah, uh, my name is Landon Bate and... I'm Label Tabitha. We are from Abuja Home Sale. 
Yes, uh, some people have understood that. So today is a very special Sunday, mm. and it is a home cell Sunday. Can I hear a noise for home cells? No, 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 no. I think we should do it this way, London. Let us do it. That I think way. Mm. you should call home cell. We should recognize home cell by home cell. Is it right? That is beautiful. That is Thank exactly you. what we're going to do, yeah? So we're going to be calling home cell by home cell, and you are going to give us a shout. Can we do that? Can we do that? Okay, where should we start from? Where should we start from? I think we are going to start from Lagos Home Cell. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Okay, let us have Ishaka Home Cell. Okay. Did, did really Ishaka <laughs> understand this? Can we give them one more chance? Ishaka, one more time? Ishaka. Eh? Okay, Ishaka Home Cell. Oh, yes, they did better. They did better. Let us have every home cell. Oh, yes, every did well. Let us have Basaja home cell. Campus home cell. No, 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 no. We can give you no. one more chance. Uh, Campus home cell. Yeah, better, better. Okay. So, this now. one. No, first of all, this one, this one that we're going on is, is mighty. It is it's a little bit different. Abuja, Abuja, Let Abuja, us please. have the house home cell. Yeah. Now, the house has done well, but then there is a home cell among home cells. Yeah. There is that one home cell. Ab Abuja home cell. Yeah. Oh, yes, that is Abuja Abuj home cell. But disappoint. It never but disappoints. But meanwhile, where do some of us belong? <laughs> Uh, so, um, uh, thank you very much. Um, with that, yes? Evie? Bweji? Oh, okay. I forget you. Bweji Home Sale! You know, I did not want to call them by... But, but wait, London. Mm, yes. There is as though that group, where mm. do you belong, you guys? Around there. Yes? Okay. They don't, they didn't okay, shout. first of all, there is a very beautiful home sale. Yeah. And it's called, and this one, you don't just shout it. You say it nicely. Nancing Home Sale. Oh, come on. Nancing Home Sale. Yeah, so um, I want us to recognize the presence of our dear mama, papa in the house, Pastor Sam Musigre. Uh, and, uh, we really respect you. We respect the anointing upon your lives. Yeah, and uh, the and different pastors. Uh, Pastor Cedric is here. Uh, we have Pastor Shola and the wife in the house. Uh, Pastor Valdez. Pastor Joel. Pastor Brenda. And I saw Pastor Philip around. <laughs> and all together, the other ministers in the house of the Lord, we thank you very much for the work that you're doing, the ushering team, the media team, the... Um, the, the children's ministry, every single one of you, may God richly bless you. And you're also in the house. Clap for yourselves. <laughs> so at this very time, in the, spirit, in the same spirit, we want to welcome the online chain, church. Thank you very much for watching. We love you. We send you our greetings. Thank you very much for being there. Now, there are people in this place that may be wondering, what is happening? What are these home sales? Who, what are people just shouting anyone, anyhow? So I'm thinking that those people may have visited us for their first time. So if you have any first time visitors in this place, you could just um, please raise up your hand slowly. We want to love on you. We want to welcome if you. If you don't could, mind. Yes, if you don't mind. You could put just, up your hand. Yes, we want to see you. We want to love you. I want uh, to thank love you very you. much. Yeah, um, our ushers will be giving you a connect card. Please write down your information. Our pastors would love to see you right after the service to love on you, to know where you come from. And if you don't have a church, you can please make this your church. So you're most welcome, all of you. We love you so much. Yeah. And we are glad. This is Home South Sunday. And tell your neighbor, it's not yet done. Tell your neighbor, it's not yet done. Yes, so we're going to be having uh, a few items, a few uh, activities happening here today. Number one, we're going to be having a poem from D House Home Cell. Yeah. And then and we shall be having a skit from Abuja Cell. 
Yeah, then we shall have the news, but after that, our special will be coming from Bueji Home Cell. Yeah, so uh, without wasting any of your time, let us have the poem from D House Home Cell. A round of applause for D House as they are coming, as they are getting prepared. Yeah, and now, uh, mind you, today is a very special day. We're selling our home cell competitions. Uh, for those that missed it, we are still going. When it's been on for a while, yesterday we had a lot of fun. It's going to be covered in the news. Yes, I'm saying this as I'm waiting for D House Home Cell to come through. And um, you have to know something important. Someone say next Sunday. Sunday. Next Sunday. Next Sunday is going to be hot, yeah? Uh, we are going to have a fully, fully packed day. We are having our uh, grandfather, Pastor Brad, is going to be coming through. For those that know Pastor Brad, please put your hands together. Yeah, that is beautiful. That day is going to be packed. It's going to be amazing. We're going to be having food. We're going to be having a lot of fun. Yeah, so uh, without wasting any time, let us have the house home cell with the poem. Uh, praise God, church. Praise Jesus. So this is a poem from D House. So this poem is simply about the body of Christ. As you know, the essence of the home cells is to connect us as, as the body of Christ so we can be in unity. Praise God. So enjoy as you're listening. The body of Christ. A church is not a structure. A church is not a religious gathering. A church is not just a meeting. A church is not just a place to go. But the church, it is where fellowship with God's people uh, thrives the church is where all believers come together. It could be anywhere. They could be two. They could be three. And at this place, it's where the Holy Spirit, his presence is experienced. The body of Christ is where the name of Jesus is lifted up through love, through serving, through encouragement with one another. It is where the presence of Christ is felt by his spirit. The body of Christ is full of love, joy, peace, and righteousness through Christ and the Holy Spirit. The church is not a building. The church is not glassy windows. The church is not a very high ceiling. The church is the people which are in the body of Christ. United is the body of Christ through the Spirit of God where the gifts of God work. We have the prophets. We have the teachers. We have the pastors, we have the evangelists. All these work together as the body of Christ to build up and work to the preparation of the body for the coming of our Lord and Savior. Rather, the church is the body of Christ full of Jesus. Thank you very much. That is a poem from the house. Right. All 
right your muscle cap home cell we are Right. Thank you, Papa. Um, have you? Yes. Uh, let's have our opening prayer. Yes, Kaku, you can give the opening yes. prayer. Yes, let's humble ourselves. Uh, close your eyes, please. Put your hands together like this. Yes. I'll not sing that song, Sunday School. I'll put my hands this way. Heavenly Father. Thank you for this wonderful avenue. We've come together to fellowship, to share in this mega home cell, Lord. People from different cells are here. And Lord, we pray that you bless this day. And as we are going to eat these meals, Lord, we pray that you bless them with a special, in Jesus' name we have prayed and believed. Amen. Joy, the issue of light always ah. with your host. Still. All right, it's okay. We believe for God for better. All right. Uh, in today's homestead, uh, we are going to have, all oh, right, actually, even the lights are back. Thanks be to God. Uh, in today's homestead, our theme is about love in Christ. Love. You get it? Yeah, yeah. Love in Christ. So, hope you are going to pay attention. And remember, the Bible tells us, and it's one of the greatest commandments that Jesus gave to us that we should ought to love one another as we love ourselves. And John chapter 13, verse from 34 to 35, it tells us to love one another and it's one of the ways that we shall be seen as the disciples of Christ. Meaning, it's the best way of preaching the gospel by loving one another. That is verse 35. Alright, uh, in this, uh, and actually, First John chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. It teaches us something uh, which, uh, the way we ought to love one another. And that's how, in which way. The Bible tells us if we have a lot of things, we ought, yeah, I'm good. We ought to give to one another those that are in need. So brothers, my sister, if you have very many, a lot of things, and you see someone in need, try to give to them, right? Yeah, and that will be very good. That's a way of loving one another. So let's keep loving one another and loving our souls. All right. So I don't know. Do we have anyone uh, with testimony? Okay, okay, okay. You can give us joy. So praise God, everyone. Praise him. And let me tell you guys. You see, last week, my mm. parents came all the way from Kenya ah. to visit me. Ah. And you know what else? Mm -hmm. The same week. I received a, you have received message from my uncle. Oh my God. Love of blessings. Oh. Ah, you guys. I swear it was your stop, uncle. Stop, stop. Oh. I swear it was your uncle. Ashema. Ashema. Hey, what's uncle up? Is an uncle. Hey. I won't say anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, that has been great. And for that case, I want to welcome our mama to tell us something. Yes. Good evening, brethren. Good evening. Uh, praise God. Praise him. Yeah, we have Msoba having some rent issues. As you know, as a home, so we don't just give our hand out, we also give our hand up. So we solicited some money, but then for some of you who did not make it, like you reach out to him. This is a little we managed to collect. Oh, oh thank right. you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, that has been great. So, as we said, we continue loving each one of us and help those that are in need. Let's support them in any way we can. We don't only fellowship, but we support others and that's the beauty of sale all right uh we can stand up because uh, time is fast spent and we have a closing prayer mm -hmm. and uh as we're speaking about love mm. can i get someone and we start love <laughs> but my brother matt yeah. you yourself wait a minute we suffer with you and you have to get another person yes <laughs> But ah. Matum, well, that question was not directed to you. The bad thing is that you speak a lot. Guys, right, stop your mad things now. Stop your mouth. mad things. Stop your mad things. And we continue. Uh, so, uh, I, Matumbo, I want to tell you something. Uh, you know, uh, there is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 tells us something. 
that there is time for everything, right? So there is time for love, the love you're talking about. But right now we are talking about godly love. And I want to direct you to a certain verse in the Bible. You go and read First Thessalonians chapter 4 from verse 3 to 5. Please go back home and read. And remember one thing. There is no touching until the wedding. You get that? Until there the is no touching until the wedding. Until the wedding. Yeah. All right. Uh, we can have a closing prayer and we go back home. All right. Oh, Lord Jesus, Father, we want to thank you for this day that you have given us. We want to thank you for that theme you've given unto us of loving and supporting each other, O Lord Jesus Father, we pray that let this love abound in us on every day that we may not forsake ourselves, O God Jesus Father we pray that the love that we extend ourselves shall be able to bring more people inside so to win so more souls win. for your kingdom, Lord Jesus Father. We also pray for our us, Jesus. May you continue pressing her, oh Lord Jesus Father. We pray that she will lack nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we pray. Amen. Oh, so uh, Mosoba and Ikaku. Hope Escort you pull it back home, right? Make sure she reaches very well. All right. Uh, Thank you for coming for sale. We meet next Wednesday. All right, nice time. Community Church, my name is La Belle Tabipa, and I'm here to tell you about Abuja Home Soul. This is my home soul, this is my home, ladies and gentlemen. It's so nice to have a home cell, it is a very good thing. This is where we find sisters, brothers, we talk about things like relationships, things, a lot of things, by the way, and also a biblical way of handling stuff life we eat we drink it's a very beautiful family and we do a lot in our home so we also reach out to people like today we had an outreach and we touched on people uh, through the small things we gave them and praying with them sharing with them the other food it's really a beautiful thing we are family we eat we drink we play we dance oh my god you have to get a home cell so i'm here to invite people to join abuja cell People join Abuja cell, it is the best cell even today. We are about to win. Hey everyone, this is Charity from Wedge Cell, the only city in Ishaka. Yes, in Wedge Cell, we are bound by love and unity. We share the word of God, we share the meal, we enjoy everything. And yes, we share the prayer requests, we pray for each other depending on our needs. And uh, if anyone is there and they don't have a home cell and they live in Wedge Raji, yes, we warmly welcome you that you join us. Hello everyone, this is Hannah from Nancy Homestead. Always meet together at around 7 to 8.30. And in this period, indeed, we enjoy whereby we celebrate birthdays, we celebrate memories, and above all, we share the word of God because that's the, our main point why we always meet. We share with the need whereby today we had to go for an outreach where we met the need. Indeed, it was so interesting because we, we, we found out different people 
and we share together, we pray together. Yeah, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Salome Ayar. I'm a member of Basadja 2 Home Cell and I'd love to tell you more about my home cell. So the idea of my home cell started back in September 2022 when we had um, an eat and greet session. On the menu on that day we had um, West African food and as we all know West African food has a lot of chili. Um, during that short time that we had, we got to know each other more and we all realized that we had um, love for God. What stands out about our uh, home cell is the fact that we have people from diverse backgrounds and this means that each day we're, we're going to learn new stuff from different people. I'd like to end by urging all of us to join Basaja Home Cell. Um, so if you live around Basaja, feel free. We're, we're very welcoming people and we're ready to welcome you at all times because we didn't want you to miss out on all that goes on in our home cell. <laughs> My name is Salome Ayar from Basaja 2 Home Cell reporting for ICCN. My name is Yaoma Prescovia and I'm from Ishaka Home Cell. I am here kindly inviting everyone around Ishaka town or even the other, other places around Ishaka, not necessarily the town, right? inviting you for our Wednesday fellowship, our Wednesday home sales starting at 6 p.m. In these home sales, we interact, we share our meal, we pray with each other, we advise each other. Proceed ICC. Hello, everyone. This is the house home sale, the house in Fuli, discipleship house. In other words, we disciple each other, we pray together daily, we have devotions daily. We share meals together every Wednesday starting at 7 p.m. And the place we go to varies. If today we are at Mami Press's house. Tomorrow we are at Jerry's house. So every place, every time we are not at the same location, but in the same house, but we are in the same location. So anyone who stays around Duchindo, specifically Nyaranya, you're invited to come to our home cell every Wednesday starting at 7 p.m. Come and let us share the word. Come and let's listen to what God has for us during our week. So Fefa, the house home cell reporting for ICM. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Priscilla from Campus Home Cell. As you see right now, we are having our games. Campus, Campus Home Cell is here. It's and obviously, it's winning. I'm tired, as you can see. Praise God. This is Lagos Home Cell. I'm welcoming you, each and every one of you to Lagos. Even today, you can see that we're going to win. This is our game. You guys, Lagos. We are doing mega amazing things. We have we have home cell, we have our mama, and let me tell you, our mama, she's the leader of home cell. So Lagos is where the fun, the exciting things are happening here at Lagos. Welcoming, if you live in Lagos, don't shy off. Every Wednesday from 7 to 8.30, we usually have home cell. So come, come one, come all, be a proud person of Lagos. Good morning, church. Good morning, youth, and good morning, students because what I'm about to announce to you is specifically for the youth and the students. There's a youth and student congress that is coming up. It's a program organized in the whole of Eastern Africa, meant for only students and youth. And the venue is going to be at Kampala. All the youths are invited. It's going to start from the 1st of May to 4th of May, Wednesday to Saturday. The feeding is going to be free. The accommodation will also be free. Only you are to provide your transportation. And we want to also be in group. I have been part of this program. It has helped my spiritual life. I will encourage every student and youth in this church to be a part of this program so that we go together and God help us. Thank you very much. My name is Emmanuel William. Jackson for ICC. What's up, all the men in the house? Yeah, hope you're all doing well and life is moving on smoothly. And guess what? Is a real man defined by their physique, their credit card, the presence of a beer, 
if you've been asking yourself these same um, questions that have been troubling my mind, then this message is just meant for you. On the 21st of this very month, April 2024, we shall be having a real men, real men meeting show happening in here in Ishaka Community Church Main Auditorium, hosted by Pastor Sam Musigure, starting at exactly 4 p.m. Yes, we shall have a number of our questions answered, a number of issues tackled, and we shall have a great definition of who a real man is. If you want to be part of me and partake of this knowledge that they have prepared for us, then join me on that day and invite your neighbor, invite your landlord, invite your classmate, your brother, your father. Do not leave out anyone, for a knowledge shared will make all of us stronger one day. We have all been called to be men of valor, strong and very courageous. I can't wait to see you there. Wow, that was very, very beautiful. Thank you very much, media team. Thank you, the kids. Thank you, every house that, every home cell that has presented. Thank you very much. Let us give them a round of applause. <laughs> so uh, I want to emphasize more about next Sunday. Next Sunday, we are going to be having one service. It's going to begin at 9 a.m. And in the evening, we shall have real men at exactly 4 p.m. Men, you don't have to miss. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, we want to let you know that um, we have uh, our dear Dr. Afolabi. He, uh, he's a member of this church, very passionate about ICC, and he is a psychiatrist working at uh, Kampala International University Hospital. Now, why am I saying this? On the 28th of this month, he has taken time to say that he wants to uh, tell us, delve more into mental health. So do you know what mental health is? Uh, do you want to know uh, how, it, uh, how to go about it? Uh, you hear of depression, you hear of schizophrenia, and all these other things. On the 28th, it will be a Sunday. We're going to be having Dr. Afolabi here with us, and it's going to be teaching us and taking us through all these things. So please mark your calendars that on the 28th of this month, we're going to be having Dr. Afolabi here at ICC, and it's going to be uh, telling us about all these things. First, you, you, do you know that um, depression has a first aid? You know that someone has a mental illness, you can give them first aid. All these things I won't give you more. Yeah. Yeah, and at this very, very, very time we are going to be giving in in the house of the Lord, I want you to only know one thing, that the catchy envelopes are for your tithe and the white envelopes are for offertory. And for those who want to use mobile money, you can just see the merchant code. It is placed on the screens as the Bojiraji team comes to lead us through. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Hope you're having a good time. Praise God. Amen. You're looking very beautiful. You can tell your neighbor you're looking very beautiful. You can actually give them a high five. Uh, before we give, let us first pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We bring our tithes and offering before you, Lord. Accept them and receive them. Those that have brought into the house of the Lord, bless them. Even those that do not have, bless them more that they may be able to give. And Father, we give you all the glory and honor for I've prayed all this in Jesus' name.
blessings and your grace upon each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, from the much you have given us who have brought little to give back to you. We ask that you bless it. And for those that have come with their project offerings, Lord, we ask that you use it for your glory. And as we continue to walk, we ask for wisdom, we ask for understanding, we ask for strength that you will give us to even end well. Blessed be your holy name, May your name be glorified in our lives, for in Jesus' name we pray.
Hallelujah. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Let us have our children. God bless you, Wajiraji. You could do it again and again and again. All of us, let us raise our hands to the children. Children, hurry up. Let us close our eyes as you're praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring the children before you. They are your little ones, Lord. We thank you for this church, for we have them before you, my master. As they are here, Father, we bring them before your hands. We pray that you may bless them. We pray that you may save them at a tender age and that they may be able to serve you. Father, we pray that their parents will always be able to continue providing unto them. May they grow up into great men in this world, my Lord. And Father, we shall always come back and give you all the glory when they will be standing in front of you and they will be testifying that they were trained and discipled from a church in Ishaka. I thank you so much. As they are going for their lessons, bless their teachers, bless them, open their minds to know you more and more. For I pray do this in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Today is home sale Sunday. I'm not hearing the vibe. Praise God. The one that has shouted more, they are, more, they are the winners of the competition. Praise God. Okay, all of you have won. <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for coming here. Uh, I thank you for everyone who has stand up. First of all, I thank God for finally the Home Sales Sundays crown. We are just in the middle of the Home Sales Sunday. So we thank God so much and the Holy Spirit. I would love to thank the pastoral team led by Pastor Sam Musigiri and Mami Prosi Musigiri. Thank you for giving us an opportunity as Home Sales to show you the little that we do in our Home Sales. May God bless you so much. Thank you, Pastor Shola and Mrs. for preparing for us, the guides, and even Reverend Dele before. So we thank you so much. May God bless you. And thank you, the pastoral team, for always standing by our side. We give you, God, all the glory. And I would also love to thank you. All these things are not done by me, the mama. Oh, sorry. I am called Naku Brenda. <laughs> I am the mama of home sales. I'm also the mama of Lagos Home Sale. And I did not do this work alone, so I would love to just have all home sale leaders stand up just for recognition, just to see them. Mamas and papas. Uh -uh. First stand, first stand. I want to see which, which one does not have a mama and a papa. Ishaka does not have a papa. You are the mama and the papa. <laughs> Evie does not have a papa. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nancy does not have a papa. It is the mama and the papa. Wow. Campus, they are mamas only. Okay. Thank you very much, Homestead Leaders. I, I thank God for you. May God continue blessing you and using you mightily. So, this whole week, we've been talking about home sales. We've prepared you from the start. On Wednesday, we were telling you about unity, and you saw how we were displaying it. On Friday, we talked about unity still. So we've been encouraging you to unite. Because home sales, when you're not united, united you stand, divided. That is our theme for this whole week, telling you that we can unite and do something great. And right there, Ingenawami blessed us with unity. Thank you so much. <laughs> now today, after we have united all of us, what next? We fall. <laughs> okay. Our theme for to, our, uh, my, our sermon today is the power of a sacrifice. Let us pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this beautiful morning. I pray, Lord, that as I'm going to speak to your people, you may use me. Come and speak something to someone, that those that came weary will go back when they are lightened. Those that came back weak will go back strong. And those that came back without knowing what to do, you give them a sense of direction. I thank you so much. Holy Spirit, I invite you to take charge of this congregation. For I've prayed all this in Jesus' name. Let us all stand up as we take our reading. As media team, you're preparing for me. Uh, we are opening Deuteronomy, chapter 12, verse 5 and 6. Deuteronomy, chapter 12, verse 5 and 6. How many of us came with our Bibles? You can raise them up. Wow, there's a big, big improvement. At least everyone carries their Bible. God bless you all. Okay, but let, let us read together, all of us. One, two, three, stand. And six. Amen. You may be seated. Today we are talking about the power of a sacrifice. What is a sacrifice, first of all? A sacrifice. Uh, there are a few definitions, there are very many definitions, but let me give you a few from the dictionary. A sacrifice is to give up something valued for the sake of other important considerations. Another one could be, is an act of offering something precious to God or a God. I should have put quotes there, or a God, a small God. And lastly, is the destruction or surrender of something for the sake of something else. That is a sacrifice. If you are to become great in this world, or in the world ahead, in the, our, our life after in this world, you should have a sacrifice that you give in. You should be ready to offer something to get something. The great people you see in this world, they don't just wake up and everything just stands out. They give in something, sacrifice. You get out of your way to do something, most of something extraordinary, not the usual one. A sacrifice it is secret. It is only you who knows what you're doing. It is not even public. No one knows when you wake up to do something. The rest will see you, yes. But after you've gone through, it's a process. It's a process by process. By the time people see it out here, you've put in your best. And there are very many types of sacrifices. Media team, you're going to flow with me. The different types of sacrifices we have in life, I can give you, I'm going to give you only three, but there are very many. Let us begin with the sacrifice of your life. The Bible tells us that your life is a living sacrifice. So we should be able to give in our lives as living sacrifices to God. It brings about victory when you, when, you, when, you, when you offer your life to God. An example of sacrifice in life is fasting. Let us just open one verse there. That is Matthew 6, 16. Matthew 6, 16. It says, whenever you fast, don't be sad. Face like the hypocrites, for they make their faces unattractive, so their fasting is obvious to people. I assure you, they've got their reward. Another one? Media team can continue. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face. Yes? 
so that you don't show your fasting to people, but to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And lastly, don't collect yourselves treasures on earth where most, okay, yes. That is what I want to tell you, that one of way of you sacrificing your life in this world, um, there are very many, I'm giving you just a few for us to pick from, is fasting. We have got, there are very many battles you, won, you win when you're on your knees. One of them is through fasting and prayer. And that's why we began in this home cell week with the fast on Monday, if most of you were a part of this. Because when you fast, you're killing your body and you're giving your soul to God to direct you. I do not know if many of you participated. And those that participated, we thank God. But as you're fasting, that is when you're giving yourself unto God. Most of us, we've been told to fast and we have so many excuses. You know, most of them, I have ulcers. Ulcers, in Pastor Sam's word voice. Pathita, I cannot fast. Pathita, you know my mother told me that I should, I should gain some weight. Now if I fast, I'm losing it. We have excuses for everything, by the way. Pathita, I've been sick, and we know. But now this is the sacrifice you're giving. Only you know what you're giving. And let me tell you this, it is not an easy sacrifice that you give. The devil will always fight you left, right, center, and around. Let me give you an example. This week, we started to, we, we agreed we're going to fast on Monday, I think on Thursday. So I agreed to give the days for fasting. Now this is what happens. On Monday, we start fasting. And when I reach class like this, I have my, my friends whom I sit with, we discuss with. When I reach class like this, they're like, oh, Brenda, I bought for you some nice food. In a container. I'm like, oh, thank you very much. But today I fasted. But, but let me receive it. I'll eat it in the evening. They're like, no problem. Now, this was food available for me. I should have chosen to say, no one is looking at me. Is there anyone who, who, who was in my class here who would know that I was fasting? So I would have eaten the food, but then I kept it. Now, as I was, as, as, within the days it was going on, I received a phone call. Brenda, your daughter has red eyes. They've taken her home with, with her niece. Both of them have red eyes and they're sick. Now, the devil is trying to divert me from what I am purposing for the week. I told the devil, I am not there. I am here. There are people who are taking care of my daughter. I can only surrender her to you in prayer. But I have a mission this week. So I am not, I am not even qualified to give her medication because I do not treat your children. But I know you are in charge. I didn't even think about it. But I remember it on, it on Thursday when we were in leaders meeting. I, for, I put it off my head. I'm like, okay, we have cell Wednesday, mega Wednesday. That is where we are heading for. My child will be okay. Jesus is in control. Even if he doesn't take control of, of, of her, the Holy Spirit is there. The angels are there. The, the, the heavenly kingdom is a lot. So there's no problem. So coming on Wednesday, I was invited for Eid. I'm like, okay. Now, these are people who have invited me, and they know that we, we had just won a, 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 an election. They had supported us, and there's no one I could tell them, I'm not coming. They're my classmates. They're my friends. They're in my discussion group. They even booked me earlier. So I wake up. We had a meeting in the morning. I said, okay. Now, here it is. Go or die. So I, I, what I did is after the meeting, I didn't go home. I decided to go there earlier when they're still preparing their food. I found them busy. I told them, you people, I have a program at three. But now I'm here. How, we, how can I help? Like, no, don't help. Just sit there. We feed you. I'm like, okay. I told them, you know what? Do you have a container here? They're like, yes. Now I, I want only the dry food. Start for me chapati. <laughs> like I picked what I would. No, I would not get spoiled. Like I am in a rush. I've been called. I have to be in the church at three. And thank God they packed the food for me, and I left. As I was reaching home. My neighbor told me, oh, 
Brenda, you no, know, our caretaker, she always gives me food whenever she has my talk. She's like, Brenda, I have my talk for you. You can pick anything you want. I'm like, God, I'm supposed to be fasting for this week, but the food is pouring, pouring, pouring. So, I'm not telling you that it is an easy journey. A sacrifice is something that is given from your heart, between you and your God. So as we are in our home, uh, like an example is Hannah. For her, she offered a sacrifice of prayer. She was, um, she had gone through a lot. She had been ridiculed by her, passed by her co-wife. Co so she went to God, you know, kneeling down. And the, 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 the high priest saw her praying and he was wondering, is this woman drunk? Oh, so she was there. And you know, meaning she had moved very many times to pastors and maybe they had failed. Like this time around, I am going alone to God. He either answers me or does not answer me. So she was praying. And even the priest realized that actually this woman is drunk maybe. Now that is the sacrifice she put. A sacrifice is something that is painful. And that is what I'm requesting us in our home sales. We are being given very many opportunities to serve in home sale. You give someone to tell them to host, and they will tell you, devil, you're a liar. And they will tell you, I cannot host. I am not well financially. Mama, I am not financially stable. We do not want financial stability. That's why you are in home sale. We want you. We want to know where you stay. Come and pray with you. Even if we drink water. So I'm requesting. I'm not ordering. I'm requesting. If I hear someone say, Mama, I'm not financially stable. I'll tell you, devil. You're a liar. Fire. Because all we want is to know you. To just get to know you where you're staying. You don't have to have money to host people. You don't have to have, a, even you, you tell mama, I am ready, my door is open, but I do not have food. It will be fine. We tell you to lead those, those, lead those guys, read them. How many of you read those guides before? Prior. Thank you. Thank you for those that are sincere. Some people wait on that day. What are we, what are we covering today? And they start. Then you choose them, they're like, mama. Another, like he, he, he wink at you with, Mama, she's another person, I'm not ready. We always, we always give them on Sunday or Monday that you can go through them. How many of you get a week and pray for just your home sale or a day or often? Thank you, Papa. Now, no, no, no home sale leaders, the members. The members. How many of you pray for our pastoral team? How many of you pray for Pastor Sam specifically? Okay. Okay. <laughs> he says he's alone. <laughs> so sacrifice is letting go. Even the devil, even the devil sacrifice. Do you know people who, are, who go to bewitch us, what they do? You've heard stories. Someone is told, wake up at 3 a.m., undress, move around someone's home. Truthfully, and they'll do it without even complaining. A story is told of someone who was told to go for a sacrifice. And what you have to do was to sit down. They put a sigiri, a charcoal stove on your head, burning. Then they boil meat on top of that sigiri as the, the, those people are picking, the, the high priests are picking. Now, if someone can offer that sacrifice for you, not to get married. Child, child of God, you're busy sleeping. People are praying for you, busy sleeping. Your hate at your mother is busy. They are laying, found, they are laying altars saying this girl will not study. She's where in KIA, you know where school fees get lost, you know? And they are doing it genuinely without even being forced. Call a child of God for prayer. Mama was in overnight. Now we have small outreach. Now there is discipleship. Now I am in media team. Now when will I do these things? I came here to study. So if you've offered to, to come and serve God, if you've surrendered to serve God, you said, today I'm born again, I'm a child of God. 
just know it's not a game. It is a battle. Between you, only you and God know. And whatever you offer in there, whatever sacrifice you're giving, it will be paid, I assure you. It will be paid, I assure you. Someone has not got me. It will be paid. We do not serve God in vain. So you have to choose. It is not a force. But if you decide to, to, to honor God and respect him, sacrifice to him. There, another type of sacrifice I was talking about is a painful material offering. That is another type of sacrifice where you give a painful material offering. Some of us here, we've been told that iPhone you have, give it to so, 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 and so, so, so. And you're like, God, fire. <laughs> that is the devil speaking. How? How can I even start? Some of us have been given cars. Maybe God tells you, give out that car to neighbor so and so and so. And you're like, okay. Okay, God. Huh? And where do we use for us to take my children to church? A story of a pastor who, who was told, he had a taxi. And God told him, offer that taxi to someone. So he tried. What he did, he went home, picked his fridge, offered to church. Now people were saying, hey, in church they were making noise. For him, he knew that in his heart, he had given a wrong offering. So he go back to God in prayer. God says, I want the taxi. He takes a dining set, offers it to church. The church is like, brother so and so is giving. And God says, I want the taxi. So God is telling you, I want that red dress you like. The shoe, thank God. For women, I want that high heeled. Eh? Give it to sister so and so. Your heart tells you that person needs it. But you're like, no. It has to first get old. And I'll offer it as a sacrifice to God. So those painful materials that you give. Some of us are used now to giving. 1,500, that is not a sacrifice. 1K is not a sacrifice. You don't feel the pain. You have 10K, you exchange it, give 1K, you remain with 9K. That is not a sacrifice you've given. Yet God has given you 100K. You go and pick 1K. Come and say, God, thank you. Now, then you go back, Rapasha, God, I need to shoot. But he's given you a hundred to just choose tithe is alone, leave tithe alone, tithe that one's a must, don't even think about it. There is an offering that you should give. So as we are in our home cells, we have to do a lot of sacrifices. Some of the people you see here do not sleep planning for 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 for, for the church. I've seen papas, mamas doing the extraordinary. And then you tell a church member to do something, she'll tell you. I've seen it here, even in church, they're telling you, shout hallelujah. And someone's saying, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want their lipstick to pour. Hallelujah. As he's looking at the neighbor, is the neighbor screaming? Should I scream also? Like, seriously. To our ladies, please don't say hallelujah. Scream. You never know that hall <laughs> You never know that hallelujah is going to break the bond that has been holding you. How sure are you? Someone is saying hallelujah. Then in Friday night prayers, telling you pray, pray, pray. Someone's like, oh, what are those people doing? I think that one has a lot of demons. And she's like, <laughs> you know, they're all. <laughs> you look at someone and they're like, and you're like, okay. This people, does not, that this people do not have problems. For them, they are okay. For me, my tuition is catered for. I have rent. I have food. I have an iPhone. I even have a boyfriend. So what am I asking God for? So you're like... They're saying, rubbish. Pastor Joel is telling you, somebody scream. You're like...
at the end of the day, it is only you and you who knows what you're doing. You can never lie to God. God does not eat pancakes. You always see the outcome in future. He doesn't. You cannot bribe him. You cannot bribe him. We should also respect the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, when Holy Spirit tells you to do something, do it. You should have that ability to listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you. Because that's where your blessing will come from. They say obedience is better than sacrifice. So when the Holy Spirit tells you, do this. Go and clean the church. Don't ask the neighbor. Should we go and clean the church? No. You go and clean. It tells you, I was told yesterday by pastor that when, when they call you, go and go somewhere. Go. You don't know what you're going to meet there. Maybe that is where your blessing is at that point. So we do not want to force. We should reach a point where we should not force you to do these things. We should not force you to participate. We've been in these weekly things. And some home says you're not interested in participating. And you ask yourself, okay. Is it the home cell that has a problem? The mama, the members, the church, the pastoral team. And that is a question I'm leaving to all of us home cell leaders and members at large. When you choose to sacrifice to God, do it wholeheartedly. In the, the scripture we read were telling us that they went... They, they went to the house of God. They, God gives chooses a place. Now he chose ICC. He can choose your home, say, your house that day. And say, today you're dining with us. Then they went there and offered. They, they did not go barehanded. That's why when you come into church, you shouldn't come barehanded. You do not go to the house of God with nothing. Unless if you're sure you do not have. But even if you don't have, you have your heart. You have your mouth. You can pray. So do not go to church, to the altars God has given unto us in home cells at church. And then the other thing is that you, go to, you don't go to an altar and you sleep. You do not go for um, an overnight and you sleep. As demons are getting out from other people, they are entering you because they, you know, they are looking for an empty house. So they find you, they are looking, then they're like, fornication enters you, theft enters you. As it is leaving me, it is entering you who is there. So do not go and sleep in an altar that has been given to you. Do not go and joke about it. The home cells you're given, the church we have, the churches in your homes, do not go and sleep on those altars. Sacrifice that time you've given to God. If it is one hour, say, God, this is one hour. I am here. Do not sleep. Those people do not sleep. The devil is not asleep. I've told you, he planned for me from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, until the end of the week. I didn't tell you that, on, is it on Wednesday? I, I go back home. I was very fine. In the night, I got flu, a lot of it, running nose. Like, the running nose, that I, where has it come from now? I've not done anything that I think should expose me to that. So the devil planned for you from Monday to Monday. As a child of God, you're sleeping from Monday to Monday. You're eating from Monday to Monday. Do you get a day when you fast go and pray go? Do, are we unscrolling the roll? You see all of you are replied, meaning all of you are unscrolling the roll instead of unrolling the scroll. You would have told me, no mama, no mama. Most of you are unscrolling the roll instead of unrolling the roll. <laughs> <laughs> so do we get time to pray? Do we get time to read our Bibles? So, the, the last one, the last of, um, but before that, I was saying that do not go to altars and, and sleep. The devil is at work. You may, not, you may not see it right now, but he's working. Trust me, he's working. Some of us are fighting familial demons, fam you know, things from our families. And they'll catch up with us if we do not wake up as children of God early enough. You don't need to be a mature like me to start praying. You should not a child if you're here above 18 in university. At least let us start from that. We are all above 18, apart from the young ones. So don't say, I do not have problems yet. 
I do not belong to that home. Oh, I'm not the pastor. I shouldn't be involved. Offer your sacrifice, whether it's time, money, item, anything. Do it with, between you and God. He will reward you in private. It doesn't have to be a public display. And lastly, the last offering that we can have is the blood sacrifice. God in his mighty gave his only son. Do you know how painful it was when he had to choose and say, my son, go and die for these people. Do you know how that was? I sh look at the example of Abraham. He also gave him the son. Now, if child of God, you're told, offer ponan, Papa, if you say, offer ponan as a living sacrifice to God, are you willing to offer? Yes, no, I'm, I'm asking. <laughs> Just, I'm asking each one of us. I know you'll not get annoyed, engineer. But if God told you, you're going to lead home cell A, 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 are you willing? If God told you, give me your life and come and serve me, are you willing to go? Or do we need to first remind you, come for church, come for minister's breakfast, come for a meeting on Thursday. Like we always have to remind you, January to January, reminding someone what to do. But God gave us his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That all our sins were, he, he, he was on the cross and said, okay, for the sake of my children, let my son go. Now, for the sake of God, what are you doing? Not for human beings, because human beings will never appreciate you. Never do anything for a human being. Even if you're serving, even if you're eating, even if you're giving food, say, Jesus, I'm giving you this food. Because only him can reward you. No one, no one, not even a rich man can give you. We have very many baggages. Can anyone give you whatever you need in life? Anyone, can they give you whatever you need? Even if it's a rich man, he has a limit. And even if he gave it to you, tomorrow it will be gone. But whatever you do, say, God, I am waking up in the morning because of you, Jesus. If it wasn't for you, Jesus, I would be in my bed sleeping. God, I'm coming for this overnight because of you, Jesus. Because you know there is a reward at the end of the day. Not human rewards. I will say thank you, mama. That is plain. But God sees what you've done and he will bless you abundantly beyond measure. So do not look at me. I want to please mama and then I turn up. You're wasting time. Brother, you sleep. Don't come. Seriously, you'd rather sleep if you're pleasing people. But rather, whatever you do, whatever you do in life, remember, home cell members, home cell leaders, our lecturers, each and everyone who is here before us, our pastors, whatever you do, know you're doing it for God. And tell him, God, I am waking up. How many of us spare the time to wake up at three or at four, any time, and you're on your knees praying? Do you know what sacrifice that is? As someone is busy going to do something wrong for you on your knees, they find you on your knees. Do you think that thing will happen? That is a sacrifice. Know that Jesus is also there backing you up. The Holy Spirit and Jesus are pleading on our behalf, like Jesus, that daughter of ours, give her another second chance. Jesus, uh, God, they say, God, Brenda, give her another second chance. She has failed today, yes, but she'll make it tomorrow. And you're also on your knees. And then, even you give Jesus hard time to plead for you when he's, you're ensuing in today, tomorrow you're in church. The other day, you, now you're like, what? Like, what is my daughter doing, for example? And the devil is saying, yes. He's in the other party drinking alcohol. The one you're talking about, Jesus, he's there. Because the heavenly beings see. Me, I see the heavenly being as if it's a, I'm sorry to say, but as if it's a, a movie, like they're watching. And I know they're watching when I'm getting out, when I'm, they're watching. And the angel of God is here, the angel of the devil is here. If I lie, the angel says, right. If I do right, the angel of God says, so they are watching whatever we're doing. And the devil is looking for that open door to put you down. So I would love to urge each one of you. It is not easy, but the blood of Jesus is there for us. Claim it. The Holy Spirit is there for us. We can't do these things on our own. I'm, I'll be lying to you if I told you we can. But the Holy Spirit is there. 
ask the Holy Spirit, claim the blood of Jesus. I'm like, God, I can't do this on my own, but help me out. I'm sure even if you are the father, you cannot refuse. And someone keeps telling you, Daddy, I want sweet. Daddy, I want sweet. I'll come and I'll give it to you eventually at the right time. So, I am urging all of us here that it is not easy, but offer your lives as living sacrifices to God. Offer those materials. We are, we are buying land, and someone is given pocket money of 50K, get 10K. It should be a painful one. Maybe get 40K and give, and stay with 10K. There are God and see. Yes. Before I finish, last, when we were doing Thanksgiving, Pastor told us a story when he offered everything he had. So I also had money on my account when we were giving Thanksgiving, and I had different departments I, get, I was supposed to give in because of my heart. So I went and drained everything I had. I said, God, for this home sale, I'm giving for this, for this. Now, let me see whether I will starve the next day. I have never starved. I have a culture of, pray, of fasting at least once a week, or at least get a day and fast every week. And my classmates are always asking, but Brenda, what do you be fasting about? You don't want to grow thin. What are you doing? I'm like, you do not understand these things. So I'm urging all of us, let us give ourselves as living sacrifices to God, and it shall never disappoint you. May God bless you so much. Can stand up and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you so much for this beautiful week. I want to thank you for each and every person represented here. I want to thank you for every home cell. And I want to thank you, Father, for this beautiful day. And I know, Lord, that you've spoken unto us. And Father, we are here asking that you may give us the grace to do that which we've talked about, to sacrifice ourselves, our bodies, our lives, our property as a living sacrifice to you. And above all, Lord, may your name be glorified at the end of the day. Those that came when they are weak, give them strength. Those that came when they are doubting, give them a fulfillment of heart. Those that are sick, heal them. And Father, those that do not know you, may you give them a word that will speak unto them, my Lord. And at the end of the day, Lord, we honor you and say that your name be glorified in our lives, in our home cells, in our families, in everything that we do. Bless us, Father, for I've prayed all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us appreciate Mama Brenda one more time. <laughs> Amen. Let us, we can have our seats. Uh, we bless the Lord for this home cell Sunday. Amen. I'm called Pastor Cedric. Uh, currently, I'm in Kayunga Regional Referral, but I just came to say hello to you. Amen. This is my home. So if you don't know me, then you are the visitor. <laughs> Amen. But for me, this is home. Amen. Um, let us appreciate Mama Brenda one more time for bringing us that powerful message. And um, as we're talking about home cells, indeed, a home cell is a family. Amen. The Bible talks about some people in the, in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2. They say these people were together as one body. The Bible says, Acts chapter 2 verses 44, and all who believed were together and had all things in common. Amen. Verses 45. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing what came out of that to all as any had need. You understand? So what they did together was they sold everything they had and they collected it in one bunch. That if anyone needs, has a need, they would get from that and help that person. Praise the name of Jesus. That is sacrifice. Amen. They sacrifice. As a cell, you need to sacrifice for one another. Amen. If someone lacks tuition, go and empty your accounts and join together. Some of you have, you may not have the money, but you may have the connection. Praise the name of Jesus. You have, we have seen people who paid, whom 
we have seen people where their parents paid for their friends. You understand? Because this person cared to mention their friend to their parents. Amen. That my friend doesn't have rent. Instead of your friend being chased for rent, we have been people sharing rooms and they say, please come and stay with me. Amen. But you can only know this need if you're together, if you join together in a home cell. Amen. I remember when I came to Isha, when I was here, I was leading a home cell in Bwejiraje. That was my cell. Amen. There was this young lady, she joined university. I will say this and then we shall close this and have the quiz. Amen. So this lady had joined university in her first year. She had come to do a course and her parents sent her to school. So when she reached, just like any of us, the parents promised her that you go to school, we will send you more money. Amen. So she reached school. You know how ladies can be. She bought a laundry basket, bought the ka, every katandal, every, I don't know how they call katandal in English. She bought it, that thing where they put utensils. What is it called? Sado? Plastic? Ah, you leave it. Rack, yes. Me, I thought the a shoe rack, okay. They bought the rack. Everything was there in the house. She bought a new stove, everything. But she was waiting for more money to buy food. Can you imagine? So, you know how parents can be. <laughs> our parents have a lot of faith. They say, go to school, I'll send more money. Little did she know that the money may not come that very day. It may come another day. She spent in the house three days without money, without food. And one day, so because I'd seen her, you know, if you're in a neighborhood, you should know everyone in your neighborhood. So because me, I was a home cell leader, every person would, I would see you taking the route of Bejidaje. I would want to know where you stay in that I invite you for home cell. So for her, and she was staying in my gate. So I came, I said, but I saw this lady entering, but I've not seen her. So I went and I knocked and said, hello, how are you? She came out from the house and she looked sick. I'm like, mm, are you sick? She's like, yeah, not really. I'm just, you know. But she was speaking very softly. I told her, are you okay? She, you know, first time, she doesn't know me. So you see the guy, guy is in your door. He has a big belly. You're like, this guy may want to rape me. He doesn't know that I'm a home cell leader. You understand? But I insisted. I said, please. If you need help, I'm a doctor. You know when you're in any class, as long as you're in medical school, you're a doctor. I told her I'm a doctor. I can help if you're sick. Then she said no. Anyways, long story short, my parents, I don't have food. Then when she said I don't have food, I just noticed. I said that is the problem. So, I called the border border guy. Because me now, I was a chairman in Wajiraji. I called the border border guy. He came. I told the border border guy, I gave her 20K, take this lady to Linus. I told her, go and eat the balance, you buy some food for the next day. You understand? And that's how someone was saved. She was going to die of hunger in the house. And I know most of you, you're there, you, you, you don't have anything, but you don't come for sale. <laughs> you are going to die. Amen? <laughs> Amen. So, that, that was the story, but home sales are here to help you. Amen? We're not there. We don't want to see what you have in your house. Let me tell you, all of us, when you're in the first year, you have only the bed, the mattress, and the rack. You don't have a lot. But as you keep going to university, before you reach your fifth year, before you graduate, you have more things, okay? So whatever things you have in your house, let people come and sit there. Amen? Hallelujah. So, let me just pray for you because I know home sales are very challenging. I'm just going to make a prayer that the heart of God of being together may come. Amen. And then we shall have the quiz. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for you a great God. Thank you for you have brought us together in one body. Holy Spirit, just like the people in the first church, the Bible says they were together. They had all things in common and none of them lacked anything. Because they shared whatever they have. Lord, I pray, let that grace fall on us as a church. Let us begin to share whatsoever that we have for the glory of your name. And none of us shall lack anything. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. May God bless you. Let me invite Pastor Valdez who will take us to the next session. Have a wonderful service. Thank you so much, Pastor Cedric. Praise God. 
Praise Jesus. How are we doing? Yeah, I hope we're doing great. We're very excited. We're going to have our quiz real quick. Our time is fast spent. We're just going to do this very fast. Are we guys ready? Yeah, I hope we're ready. Uh, this quiz is simply going to be in three categories. We're going to look at history and politics. That includes economics, gra uh, geography, current affairs, basics. Yeah, then this, the second category is sports. Sports and games. This will include basketball, soccer, swimming, tennis, rugby, volleyball, athletics, badminton, chess, simple, simple category. That is sports. The last category is general science, yeah? So this is how we are going to do it. We are going to have, uh, from, from this side, we are going to have a participant from each cell, yes? So, uh, Evie, please send one person. Ishaka, please send one person. And that last cell, that is Lagos. Please send one, one person. And then same thing here. Send one, one person from each cell. Send one person. Let's do this real quick. Same, same thing this side. Basaja, campus. Please, let's do this very fast. We don't have much time. We don't have much time. Let's just do this fast. Just bring one, one cord, let's do Yes, just come. St make sure you stand on your side. Eh? If you come from this side, you stand here. From this side, you stand here. Then from this side, you stand here. They can stand on the mics. There are four mics. Okay, four mics. This is for... Ah, this is for this call. Then this one. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, is this us? Is this us? Which cell, which cell is not yet here? Let's do this faster, please. The quiz is very easy. Okay, 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 okay. Let me start with the guys that I have here. Just tell us your name and your home cell. Are the mics on? You can tell us your name and your home cell. Yes, you can tell us your name and your home cell. Yes, Faith from Basaja Home Cell. Yes. Next. Hello, praise God. I'm John Sony from Abuja. Okay. Praise God, Church. I'm Tabaro Joshua from Bugaji City. From? Bugaji. Bugaji, okay. Get on the mic and introduce yourself. Introduce yourself very fast. Praise God, Church. I'm Ezra Amara from the Nurses Home Cell. Great. Praise God. I'm Emily from, uh, from uh, Lagos. Lagos, okay. Praise church. Amen. My name is Kankano Marvin from AV. Okay, great, great, great. So the souls this side, you're, you're featuring together, okay? The souls in this column, yeah? That is AV. Who is from AV? AV, Lagos, Ishaka. Three. Are you from Ishaka? Ishaka. There's no one from Ishaka here? Okay. Ishaka home cell. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Okay. You guys are in the, in the same team. Then teams that are here, which home cells are here? And Bajraji and Nansing. Which, which cell are you? Okay, good. So you guys are on the same team. Then which column? Which guys are in this column? 
and Abuja in the house. Your D house, where is Abuja? Abuja, you guys. Okay, so you guys on the same team, same mic. Come and line up. Okay, and then finally here we have Basaja and. Okay, great. This is how it's going to happen. We're going to start with general science. General science, we have 13 questions. Yes, from the 13 questions, for, for, the, for the four groups, that means each group is going to have only three, three questions to answer, yeah? So this is what you do. You make your choice from numbers 1 to 13, yeah? If you choose number 1, we ask you that question, yeah? In general science. Is that okay? So we're going to go like this, then we come back like that, okay? Is, is, is everything clear? All is clear, great. So let's start from, let's start from, let me hear some noise from Basaja and Campus. Okay, Basaja and Campus, make your choice from number one to 13. Choose your number. Number five. Number five and number three. Okay, number five goes. What is the study of mushrooms called? <laughs> Ten seconds, countdown. You, you first answer one, then I ask the next one on the second round. The, the question is, timer, please wait. When I tell you to set it, you start it. The question is, what is the study of mushrooms called? The study of mushrooms. Count, count down. Speak on the mic. Eh? Jesus. Try to increase the mic. Eh? It's called mycology. Correct. The study of mushrooms is mycology. Correct. Your, your second question was number three. Number three is this. Which process converts sugar to acids, alcohol to gases. Which process converts sugar to acid? Sugar is converted to acids and alcohol is converted to gases. Which process is that? Countdown. If you have it, Time is up. What, what are you saying? Glycolysis. Glycolysis. Incorrect. L let's use this mic because I think, yeah, glycolysis is incorrect. The process is fermentation. Okay, let's go. You guys, number five and three are out. Please help me cancel the, those out. Five and three are out. So you guys choose from numbers one to 13 except three and five. Seven and two numbers. Seven and four. Let's see. We start with four. Four goes. What is the largest animal on the planet? A blue whale. Correct. It's the blue whale. Okay, number seven. Number seven goes. Where is the smallest bone in the human body located? In the ear. Correct. It's in the air. Yes, you guys, make your choice from 1 to 13, except 4, 5, 7, and help me cancel those numbers. I'm, I'm not noting them. Okay, give them the mic. Make your choice from 1 to 13, except the chosen numbers. 8 and 13. 8 and 13. 8 and 13. 8 goes. How many bones are in the human body? How many bones are in the human body? The countdown is on. It's 236. 236, incorrect. Countdown is off. There are 206, not 36. Thank you. You, you chose 13 also. 13, this is your question. If you roll a dice, what is the probability a number is higher than two? 
if you roll a dice, what is the probability a number is higher than two? It is a multi-question, multi-answer. So I'm, I'm going to give you the options. Your, your first option is two out of three rolls. One out of three rolls. Three out of four rolls. And two out of four rolls. Did you get it? If you roll a dice, what is the probability you're getting a number higher than two? Your, your countdown is on. Use a mic if you have your answer. It is two out of three. Two out of three, correct. Correct, that's correct. Okay, now we are going to Lagos and Evie. Okay, you guys, make your choice. One to 13, except the chosen numbers. Use the mic, use the mic. One to, thir One to 13, except they will tell you the number. If you choose a number that is chosen, we'll tell you it's taken. Number 10. Number? 10. Number 8? 10. 10, okay? And nine. Ten and nine. Let's see your choice. Ten goals. How many hearts does an octopus have? How many hearts does an octopus have? If you, you've got the question, the, count, the timer is on. How many hearts does an octopus have? There are four. Four? Yes. Incorrect. An octopus has three hearts. Your next choice was nine. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. nine. Okay. That was nine. Which other? No. Hey, that was nine, nine. nine and ten. Ten. Glossectomy is the removal of all or part of which part of the body. Glossectomy is the removal of all or part of which part of the body. The tongue. The tongue, correct. Correct. Yes, well done, well done, well done. I think we, we are going to go on to the next category, okay? For the next category, we will start from here. This ends. Yes, you only have two questions again in the next category. The next category is sports and games. So make your choice from one to ten. Two numbers from one to ten. Sports. Two. Two and, two, and two. two and four. Two and four. Two and four. Okay, Lagos, you guys are ready. Two and four. This is two. Which English football league team holds the nickname the Cobblers? Which English football team, Premier League team, holds the name, the nickname the Cobblers? Oh, okay. Let's do that. I'm informed that for some categories, you had organized people to do sports. So if you have a swap, maybe here, uh, you can, you can go, go for it. You, you can go for the next category. All the cells, if you, are, if you have a swap, if you had planned someone else for the next category, you can bring that person up. Very quickly, very quickly, because of time. Very quickly. Very quickly, please. Okay, okay, okay. The other cells are not swapping. Other cells are okay. Okay, let's go. So we were here. You guys, are, are you taking the... I think we can't undo that number, but we can. You can start over. You, we, because you, you have come from the congregation, yeah? We are starting over from 1 to 10, except number 4. Make your choice very quick. You guys be, be making your choices... One and six. One and six. Let's go. This is one. What is the best position Uganda Cranes has ever attained from AFCON, from Africa Cup of Nations? What is the best position Uganda Cranes has ever attained from AFCON? Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Semi-finals. Sorry? Semis. Semi-finals. Correct. It was a semi-finals with Ghana. And you choose also? Six. 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 This is six. 
It's it correct. Was. It was. It is correct. It's correct. No. It, it is correct. <laughs> they lost to Ghana 2-0 in that. Yes, that was the best in, the, in their group, in the group league. That's correct. It was, it was, and six, yeah? Six, this is six. How many different teams have won the Premier League since the start of the in Inigo session in 1992-1993? How many teams have ever won the Premier League? Yes, how many teams? Six. Four. Chelsea, Arsenal, Leicester, Blackburn and Liverpool. That's correct. It's correct. Which which group is this? What is your what are your numbers? It's correct. Use the microphone. Use the microphone. Tell us your numbers. Eleven and nine. Eleven and nine. Okay, this is no. I told you up to ten. One to ten. Eleven is not there. Five and eight. Five and eight. This is five. What are the five colors of the Olympic rings? What are the five colors of the Olympic rings? You know the Olympic rings. What are the five colors there? Your timer is on. The colors? Yes. We have blue. We, we have blue. We have, we have red. We have white. Purple. White is not there. Uh -uh. White is not there. The colors there are our colors, which are black, yellow, red, and then green and blue. White is not there. What was your other number? We have eight. Eight. This is eight. How many players are there in a netball team? Six. Wrong. There are seven players in a netball team. Your numbers? You've not decided. Seven was taken. Three and? You, you just say, if it is taken, we'll tell you it is taken. Three and? Three and eight. Eight was also taken. One. One. One was taken. Three and seven is okay. Okay. Three and seven. This is three. Who scored the fastest goal in Premier League history after just 7.69 seconds? Who scored the fastest Premier League goal in history, which was only... 7.69 seconds into the game. Sadio Mane. <laughs> no. Alan Shira. Alan? Shira. Alan Shira. Alan? Shira. Okay. Is the timer, is the timer off? Did the timer play? I didn't see it. Okay. It is incorrect. The, the person is Shen Long for Southampton against Watford in 2018, 2019. Your other, your other number was seven. This is seven. Who became the first black manager of a premiership club when he took over at Chelsea? Who became the first black manager at a premiership club when he took over Chelsea. Guys, the timer starts after the question, so start the timer. After the question, not during the question. We don't have him. Okay. He is called Rude 
R I U U D. Yes, he's called Rude. G U L L I T. He was the first black manager of a premier team. Okay, what were your, your numbers? Two and four. Two and four are okay. This is two and four. Two. Which English football league? Two. Four and? Only four and ten are left. Okay, let's go for that. This is four. How many, how many human players are there on each side in a polo match? How many human players are there on each side in a polo match? <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Seven players. Seven? Eleven. Eleven. Incorrect. They are only four players. And ten. This is ten. It starts, are you familiar with how NBA determines who gets the basketball to start a game? Are you familiar with how NBA starts the game? These are the options. It's a multi answer. One, do they toss a coin? Is it a coin flip? Two, is it the home team that starts? Three, is it the away team that starts? Four, is it a tip off? How does NBA start their match? One, is it a coin flip? Two, does the home team start? Three, does the away team start? Four, is it a tip off? Timer is on. It is a tip off. Correct, it's a tip off. Thank you very much. Let's do the last category. If you have substitutes for the last category, this is history, politics, current affairs. If you're doing substitutes, you do it now. We are going for history, politics, current affairs. Relax. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, let's, are you guys doing a sub? Do it, do it quick, do it quick if you're doing the sub. This time we're starting, let's start. Yeah, let's start from this side again. We're going to do this in the next two minutes, I think we'll be done. Okay, because of time, we're going to just go one question, yeah? We're just going to do one question because of time. So, you can have five seconds to discuss. If you agree on an answer, you, you share the answer. So, choose from one to ten, and then we'll give you your question, and then we'll finish. One to ten, current affairs, politics, geography. Okay, we choose your number. We're starting from this side. If you guys have your number, six is your number. Let's see what that looks like. This is six. Which oath of ethics is taken by doctors in, in, is named after an ancient, after an ancient physician? The oath taken by doctors named after an ancient Greek physician. The Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Oath, correct. Any number? Five. five. This is five. What is the currency of Nigeria? Naira. Naira. <laughs> Naira. <laughs> Very easy. Yes. What's your number? Number four. This is number four. Which U.S. state was Joe Biden born? Which U.S. state? Which state of the U.S was the president born of the U.S., Joe Biden. Which state? Timer is on. You can discuss.
California. California. Incorrect. It is Pennsylvania. Yes, you guys, your number? Seven. Seven. This is seven. Which, with, with over 222 million units sold, what is Apple's highest selling iPhone model? With over 222 million units sold, what is iPhone's latest, highest selling model? 12 Pro Max. Which one? 12 Pro Max. Pro Max? 12. 12. iPhone X. IPhone X. <laughs> iPhone X, you're guessing. You discuss five seconds. Timer is off. Okay. <laughs> it is iPhone 6, 6 Plus. Yeah, you guys, thank you very much. We've come to the end of this because of this. Yes, may you continue preparing better for the Bible quiz. It's going to be easier. God bless you.